Hi everyone, it's George here, your local AI specialist from Aotearoa, New Zealand. Today I'll be making a video comparing three different Vision AI models. Vision AI models are able to ingest an image and understand the contents of that image. Uh, most of them are considered multimodal models as you are able to both use image and text with the model. So you can do things like ask questions about an image. Uh, the three models I'll be comparing are Moondream, Lava and GPT-4 Vision. Moondream is by far the smallest model out of all the three at only 1.6 billion parameters. And Lava is, I'm comparing the 7 billion parameter variant of that and that's basically the Vision version of Llama. And GPT-4 Vision is by far the largest model of these three, um, but OpenAI has not disclosed parameter count. To assess the image understanding capabilities of the AI, I'll be providing it with this image along with the question, what is the correct torque for the oil pump cover bolt? Multiple types of image understanding needs to be invoked here in order to answer the question correctly. For example, it needs to know what objects are on the scene and which object I am referring to specifically. I wanted oil pump cover. To know that, it needs to be able to understand labels. And this label is only a numerical label that needs to use a legend to uncover exactly what that label refers to. Secondly, it needs to, be able to understand things like numerical values. And this is made even more difficult by the fact that this numerical value here is not provided with a unit. Another legend lookup is required to uncover what the exact unit is. Here's another curveball thrown in for good measure. This is the torque value I want because this is a bolt. This is called a screw. Can our image model understand the difference between the two? So the first model we'll be testing out is Moondream. I've gone to the GitHub page, this is the URL, so that you can go and download this model yourself. It's a very tiny model, so it's very likely that this will also run locally on your computer without any issues. As you can see, this is the README, um, and it looks pretty impressive just looking at the README. These are the instructions to set the Moondream model up running. It looks pretty simple to set up. All you need is Python installed, execute this command to install all its dependencies, and then execute this script. Now, I already have a virtual ENV set up with all the dependencies installed. So I'm just going to go and start running the given script, which is the Gradio demo script. Now, the Gradio demo script, all that does is run a nice little web interface that your browser can interface with. So this gives you a nice GUI to basically interact with the model. So once the back end has finished loading, you just go to the web interface, upload the image, provide the question, what is the correct torque for the oil pump cover bolt? And it will take some time to understand the image. And unfortunately, it's given me the wrong answer and uh, unfortunately this answer has basically told me it doesn't really comprehend the image at all and it's just given me a very sensible sounding answer for the question so it's just acting as a language model 10 newton meters is a is a torque value but it's not one that's plucked from anywhere in this diagram so that's why it says that it's not really understanding the image um, what if I explicitly told it to use the diagram? I'm going to see if it is able to answer my question with more accuracy. So unfortunately, it's just made it worse here because 50 newton meters inches is not a torque value at all. And 50 is not a value provided anywhere on this diagram. So this is a pretty big fail. It's not unexpected. This is a really tiny model. Like... 1.6 billion is extremely tiny. Even the simplest large language models that we consider to be in working order is at least 7 billion parameters. So let's test out a 7 billion parameter vision model, Lava 7B. I'm going to be using Allium Studio, which is a application that's just a little tidier than downloading large language models from GitHub and running whatever script they provide. Allium Studio provides a neat interface for you to browse, download, and run different large language models. Then you can chat with the models after downloading them. So you can upload images as well, and you can provide the question, what is the correct 
talk for the oil pump cover bolt. And it's done the chat GPT thing where it doesn't really want to answer your question. Um, let me see if I can get it to try a little bit harder. So the second time around, it is answering my question as a large language models, but it hasn't really used the diagram or understood the diagram in order to answer the question because it's selected 90 Newton meters, which is not any of the values provided by the diagram. So this is a plain fail. It's not much better than Moon Dream at this point. So I have saved what I hope is the best for last because this is a much more complex model than any of the ones I've shown so far and is the only one I had to pay for. It is $20 per month for a ChatGPT Plus subscription. The other open source models I can run locally on my computer, so it doesn't cost me anything other than the cost of electricity to run my computer. So all I do is attach the image and provide the same question. What is the correct torque for the oil pump cover bolt? And here's the moment of truth. The correct torque for the oil pump cover bolt according to the image provided is 5.8 to 7. 7, 5.9 to 7.8 Newton meters, which is also equivalent to 0.6 to 0.8 kilogram meters. So interestingly, it's gotten to a situation where it's given me an option to choose between two responses, um, and both of them are equivalent in value. Um, I'm just going to have to make the picture bigger to see what the correct answer is. And it has actually understood the diagram somewhat. Unfortunately, it failed to differentiate between a screw and a bolt. It gave me this torque value, which is the correct torque value for the screw. Now, I've been particularly nice to other models where I've given it a slightly different prompt in order to try and see if it gets a better answer. And this is already working pretty well. So let's see if I could improve its answer even more and tell it what it's done wrong. That is the torque of of the screw. I want the torque of the bolt. Okay, so it's being apologetic as it usually does. 6.4 to 7.5 Newton meters. And it's gotten the question correct. This... <laughs> This is pretty cool, I'll be honest. So out of the three, this is the only model that has actually demonstrated understanding of the diagram. And I guess it's not particularly fair to compare those tiny open source models with something that I'm paying for. Ultimately, I'm just glad there exists an AI model out there with what I consider to be human level understanding of images. That is a distinct capability than just being able to describe an image, because describing an image can be done by using a f much more simpler model that's able to just tag the image with nouns and adjectives, then using a language model to combine all of those words into a cohesive sentence. Now, the AI landscape moves pretty quickly, but vision models are a fairly recent development in the grand scope of things, so I'm very certain open source models will improve over time. I haven't had the time to test out some of the larger open source models, but I might do that in a future video, so don't forget to like and subscribe to possibly see that video. Thank you.